Hey all, hope you are good. Welcome to my channel, Sir Abdullah. In today's video, I am going to take another example which will be using lookup look activity and for each activity. Uh, what I am going to do, I am going to iterate each and every row of this table and will download the files from the uh, these URLs and will download it and store it in Azure Blob Storage. So. Uh, these are my github uh, so basically these urls are these only where i have uh, uploaded my uh, data sets to github url url so let's begin so first uh, i've already created a link service to azure blob sql database now let's create another uh, link service to http okay let's give it, give it a default name uh authentication uh, i will come back here okay authentication type will be anonymous okay let's create parameters parameters will be uh source base url okay let me copy from here only so as you can see it's asking for base url so i'm creating a parameter source base url okay and will be providing if here okay that will be taken from this table okay uh, i provided the name okay seems correct authentication type is anonymous click on create so we have three link service blob storage to connect to um, azure storage then a link service to sql database and then link service to http server so let's begin and create a pipeline Okay, I'm gonna first use lookup activity. Okay, but before that, let's first create three data sets. Okay, first is for SQL database that will store and these output. Okay, I'm gonna use the same link service. Okay, table name I will provide dynamically. Okay. And click on OK. Now let's let's create another data set for blob storage. Here the file will be downloaded in form of CSV format. My first row will be header and it will be getting downloaded in inside input container. Inside let's say source folder. We don't want import schema. Okay. Now let's create another data set for uh, HTTP. Click on continue. Uh, okay. The file will be in form of delimited test, test uh, text only http okay and relative royal i will pass as a form of parameters okay let's first create a parameter relative url okay let's type the string okay Okay, it's showing base URL. Let's create another variable source URL. Okay, let's go back here. Okay, click on dynamic content and provide source URL. Okay, here also click on dynamic content and provide. Uh, relative url okay similarly go here and say give the name file name add a parameter file name okay go here click on okay so far so good okay let's go back to pipeline click on setting 
and let's use the source data set uh, as your as your SQL table one. Okay, just copy it and place inside query. Okay. Okay. Let's view the content of its output. It's only returning one arrow. Why so? Okay, because this first row uh, option is checked. Now it will return for five rows. Okay, as its output, and we can see it also. It's returning five rows. Okay, click on cross. Okay. Now let's search for for each activity okay and let's connect it okay seems good go to setting we will be capturing output of lookup activity so for each activity will iterate each and every output of lookup okay let's go inside it and use we will use the copy activity okay go to source so uh, okay let's check okay this is for this and source you are okay delimited text to is for http let's go inside it click on delimited text to okay it's asking for relative url source url so we will get it from uh, we have clicked on relative URL. Okay, so we'll get from at the red item dot from source URL URL column name. Click on okay. Similarly, you will get source URL from here dot source base url click on ok similarly rest option is not required okay. go to sync we will use this file name file name we will get from this sync name column name click on dynamic contain output of uh, output of lookup okay and then click on here seems good we don't want mapping okay user property seems good only click on validate seems no error let's go back and uh, let's click on debug so let's check whether uh, our pipeline is successful and it is able to read uh, from SQL, uh, my table, uh, table metadata, and is able to download each and every uh, file which is present at a URL. At a URL. So let's go here. Click on refresh. Okay. Okay. So. As you can see my pipeline is succeeded and all it is able to iterate and download all my files you can see check the timing it's downloaded at 10:48. okay now 